Despite the fact that there is a lot of evidence on the importance of breastfeeding to both the mother and the baby, the rates of breastfeeding in the country are still low. My name is Lilian Mumina. I am a clinical nutritionist and I am going to take us through a session of some of the barriers that women in Kenya face. Stick around because I'll also be giving tips on how to overcome these challenges. Women understand that breast milk is a complete and nutritious meal for the baby. Unfortunately, the importance of breast milk to the growth and development of the baby is still underrated. I will not say it's lack of knowledge, I will say it's lack of the right information. There's a lot of health education and policies that aim to empower and educate mothers on the importance of breastfeeding. Unfortunately, most educators and most of these policy makers leave out the most important thing, that is the importance of breast milk in the development and the growth of infant. Breast milk has been documented as one of the safest, nutritious, and the best meal for an infant for the first six months of life. It promotes proper development development, it promotes brain and cognitive development. It also reduces infant obesity which is on the rise in the country. I'll be doing a video on infantile obesity so stick around for that and if you've not subscribed please subscribe and hit that like button. So the second thing, societal norms. Our culture and what is normal in the society is changing daily. There's a lot of influences from the western world, from the social media, from the evolving technology, revolution, industrialization and modernization. Unfortunately some of these changes come with negative impact impact on the society, how we carry ourselves. In the past, the bottle and the cup feeding was the acceptable modes of feeding the baby. With research and education, health workers have been trying to get the information that breast milk is the preferred feed for the infant for the first six months. The social exposure of women has increased to breast milk substitute. This makes it impossible for the healthcare workers to cut across the message without objection. The notion that formula feeding is easier is also being communicated a lot on social media. You get the pregnancy groups advocating and telling women that it is okay to formula feed the baby without actually exploring any other options to promote breastfeeding. How do we stop this? By trying to push our policy makers and also making sure that these marketers and these sellers educate the mothers on the importance of breastfeeding and the dangers of formula feed before they sell to them. That is not being done as good as it should be in the country. With healthcare workers promoting the intake of the breast milk substitute, that needs to stop and it is not for the best of our babies. The other barrier will be the careers. A lot has changed in the country. We have women working more, women in business, leadership, women just doing things, income generating activities as opposed to the recent past whereby the primary role of a woman was to care and nurture for the family and the baby. It becomes a bit problematic when you tell this woman to sit down and keep off her careers or her money making business for the first six months so that she can take care of this baby. And unfortunately our policies are not even in supportive of this. During these wellness expos that we go to, it is very unfortunate that you will find mothers with babies as young as two months working because the employer has denied them maternity leave. This makes it harder for the moms to continue breastfeeding. You'll talk to them about the importance of pumping and educate them on why they should do it. The reason they'll give you as to why they cannot sustain that is the fact that in their workplace there are no safe rooms for the women to go and pump or even store their pumped milk. It's important to continue with the pumping even if you're poor in it down, it will help in continuing lactation. So if you're in a situation whereby you have to go back to work earlier than anticipated, using the toilet breaks, the lunch breaks, the small breaks that you're getting, just try as much as you can to maintain lactation and continue with the production. And if you can get maternity leave, please go. I know motherhood can be hard and sometimes you want to escape the whole motherhood thing and go back to work, but if you can't, please make sure that you get that time. Another thing that makes women stop breastfeeding earlier is the fact that breastfeeding is perceived as a very big sacrifice. The woman is expected to give up her normal habits. So most women do not want to be left behind in the society. They want to keep up with the trends. Eh? They want to keep knowing which club does this, which hotel does this, which restaurant serves all this. And unfortunately, breastfeeding will tie you down. Because it is not possible to go to a club with a baby. You can go for lunch, for dinner, but clubbing, which most people still want to do after giving birth, especially first time moms, it becomes a problem. This is one of the things that I have encountered as a nutritionist especially with first time moms. They don't want to be left behind. It's only six months for exclusive breastfeeding. Just sacrifice a bit. I know it's a sacrifice carrying the baby, giving birth and you just want to be free. You just want to go enjoy life. You're tired. Motherhood is hard. During the six months that you're exclusively breastfeeding, you can sneak away a bit. Get some lunch, get some dinner here and there but make sure that you express when you're doing that. According to the Kenya Demographic Health Survey, the rates of breastfeeding 
are still low. And one of the factors that has contributed to this will be poor family and social support. How we relate currently with our neighbors, with our peers, with our surrounding is different. The support has really gone down for the woman. Lack of support and of stress that come with having a new baby affects the quantities and the quality of breast milk production. Most women usually look for other alternatives like maybe cow milk or formulas to prevent their babies from losing weight or to prevent their babies from having deficiencies when they are not able to produce enough. So to our fathers, to our males, please support your women. If you have someone who has a baby, please provide a helping hand every once in a while. The sixth barrier will be the perception that most women have that formula feeding is cool and it is for the rich. There's that economical pressure in Kenyan women who would want to show you that they can actually afford formula feeding and they think it's cool. And this unfortunately affects breastfeeding. When you come in with formula feeds, you're going to lower the amount of times that the baby is going to circle on the breast or the amount of times that you're going to pump and this will reduce production. It is also important to understand that breast milk is still the superior meal for the infant. It will prevent a lot of infections, it will prevent a lot of developmental issues, it will help in ensuring the baby has a good immunity. Babies who are breastfed usually have less incidences of metabolic disorders and other chronic disorders such as cancers. So you set the pace of the health of the baby for a lifetime during the first six months of life. It is that important. So please take up breastfeeding with pride and do it with pride. The seventh thing that I will say will be the shame that women have on breastfeeding on public areas. Unfortunately for Kenyans, we don't have breastfeeding corners in the streets. Our public toilets do not even offer a changing room for babies. There's a lot of policies on this, but implementation has taken forever. Our policy makers need to support our moms by ensuring that these corners are well established so that the mothers can even breastfeed. Even when you leave the house with the baby, it is not called liquid gold for nothing. That breast milk is gold. It carries life. It carries health. So do it with pride. Those of us in leadership, we try and push to ensure that these policies that have been documented, that they are implemented. The eighth barrier will be the health-related barrier. Most doctors, clinicians, nurses, and nutritionists, you find them, unfortunately, marketing the formulas because it is an easier option than trying to deal with ensuring that the mother produces enough. It is always an easier option, but it is not the best. Of course, you as the mother, the first thing that will come to your mind is that you don't have enough milk supply. So you'll tell the pediatrician, okay, me, I don't have enough milk supply. That is why I think the baby is losing this amount of weight. This is why the baby's growth is stunted. They will write for you an infant formula to go get at the pharmacy as you leave the hospital. That is very unfortunate. It can be work to work and work with the mother. Do not give up. If you're a health professional, please support our mothers. I did a video on tips on how to increase your breast milk supply. Please have a look. Another barrier would be the lactation problems. You might be having engorged breast. You might be having mastitis. You might also be having an inverted nipple. The alveoli, the sharp part, is not pointing as it's supposed to. For the baby to circle, it becomes a bit problem. It is also hard for the baby to circle an engorged breast. And also, it is painful for you as the mother. This will make you shy away from breastfeeding involuntarily. It happens. Don't be hard on yourself. Just make sure that you get enough support. If you're engorged, try as much as you can to express before giving the baby the breast so that it becomes a bit easier for them to circle. If it is mastitis, please get antibacterial ointments and such. You prevent the infections and the baby can breastfeed well. If it's inverted nipples, go to a hospital and you will get help with Kuvuta the nipples. It comes out so the baby can be able to circle and breastfeed. I hope you found this video useful. Check on the other videos on breastfeeding. Please don't forget to subscribe and like and share. You can share to a mom, you can share to a health practitioner, you can share to a researcher, you can even share community groups. Thanks for listening and bye.